Okay, so uh, we are live, and first thing I need to see is if anyone can actually hear me. I'm trying out a new little mic system over here, which hopefully will be working well. But um, I wanted to have a little, um, well, a little Q&A. For the last 30 days, I have been going through uh, treatment at the Florida Center for Home Runs and Wellness. And this is going to be, um, well, I'm going through a year's worth. So I'm through one twelfth of the treatment. And in the treatment so far, I have received, um, let's see if we can get this working a little better here. I have received um, testosterone pellets that was on day one. Um, they were surgically or minimal surgically implanted inside of me. Uh, and I've also had, let's see, they gave me uh, nitric oxide pills, which I'm taking three of in the morning, three of at night. They have given me a diet as well that they want to go ahead and have me regularly fast for um, 10 to 16 hours. So that's something I'm kind of dealing with at the moment, um, really just starting off on that one. Uh, essentially what it means is coming home at, you know, five, six o'clock, eating dinner, and then after seven o'clock, I'm going to go ahead and just, I'm going to go ahead and this works. Um, after seven o'clock, not eating until morning, until about eight, eight thirty in the morning. Um, supposedly this is going to go ahead and reset my insulin levels and let my body, um, the way I described it was reset my insulin levels. Otherwise your body keeps producing insulin. I never know how unhealthy it was to eat right before bed, but apparently it's pretty unhealthy. Uh, and it can add to excess weight, which is something I'm trying to shed a little bit of. I am 45 years old. I was diagnosed a while back with low testosterone. And now I'm going through this treatment again with Dr. John Carazella at the Florida Institute, the Institute, Florida Center for Hormones and Wellness. And I've really wanted to do just a Q and A to see if anyone had any questions about what, what I'm going through, um, the different treatments they're putting me through, any side effects or anything else that you guys want to know about. So, um, let's see. Today and seven days ago, well, last week, I went through something called a pulse wave treatment. And what that was, was an actual, um, looks like a little ray gun. We'll have it up on video soon. But it pulses about 10,000 times per minute, I believe, somewhere around there. And it's got all this little fancy stuff you can go ahead and do settings on, but um, they actually had me numb up my genital area. Yes, the, the penis as well as the surrounding areas, even up going inside of the legs. And they put this on, it takes about 10, 15 minutes, maybe 10 minutes for them to do it once you're numb. And the idea I understand is by hitting it so many times, such a high frequency, you're stimulating uh, the cells you're causing minimal damage, but enough damage to simulate the healing part of those cells. So the idea is to do it all along the shaft of the penis, uh, again, below, um, I guess it's called the taint area, right down in the back, as well as uh, both sides um, where your legs are, because um, these are the places that bring blood into your penis. Uh, and do basically blood into your penis is what leads to an erection. There's two, um, tubes that if you can imagine run down the uh, side of your penis the one in the center is your urethra that's what you pee through but on either side there's this corpus cavernosa you got to go ahead and look that one up but basically when that engorges with blood uh, it ends up with an erection so what they're finding out is that just like you can get plaque in your heart which can lead to a heart attack and plaque in other parts of your body um, you can actually get plaque in the um, veins and capillaries and and arteries that lead into your penis, which can actually result in erectile dysfunction. So um, I've been going through this. Uh, it's my second treatment today, so I'm still a little bit numb. Um, but however, I'm 30 days into my treatment and things have definitely been different. Um, both me and my wife will attest, I, I have a, we'll say a better erection. It lasts longer, it comes back quicker. Um, she can physically feel the difference. Um, so I'm again, 30 days into the treatment. I, I believe things are going fairly well. I am now exercising regularly and trying to eat uh, healthier, 
going to start doing this intermittent fasting, which means I'm going to start with maybe three times a week, not eating from uh, 8 p.m. to 8 a.m., no midnight snacks. We'll start at 12 hours. And then maybe after a week or two of doing that, I'm going to try to extend it. Um, I was told that the, the, the main or the goal of that is to really do a 16 hours every so often. So to go ahead and perhaps stop eating at five o'clock uh, and then don't eat anything all the way till the next morning till like maybe 10. So you get that, that, that time for your body to again, reset its insulin and uh, do some interesting, well, hopefully do, do better things, reset and uh, help me lose just a little bit of weight, which we all wanna do in our forties. Um, let's see, what else? Does anyone have any questions? Um, next week I'm going to be going for my third pulse wave treatment on Wednesday and once that's done they're going to do something they call a pee shot which I've been doing a lot of reading on and asking lots of questions on so what this entails is they're going to go ahead and draw a vial of my blood and then put it inside a centrifuge and run that for a little while and they're going to separate out uh, the different parts of the blood so from the white blood cells to the platelets, to anyway, a bunch of other stuff. Uh, if anyone knows what a centrifuge, it basically spins it and the heavier things go to, go to the outside, the lighter things go to the inside. But then what they're gonna do is take those um, healing platelets. The platelets, I understand, is the part that uh, promotes healing. It's the part that's gonna reduce swelling and overall just promote healing. They're going to put them into a syringe so they take the blood out of me, put it in a uh, centrifuge, do some other stuff to it, and then take my own blood, and they're going to be injecting it directly into me. And they will numb it up, but they will be injecting it into my into the penis, my penis. Um, I'm told it's a very, very small needle, so I'm not really that scared. And they will be putting some lidocaine on it, so I shouldn't feel anything, but uh, should be very, very interesting. Now, I've heard the effects of this can last anywhere from 10 to 12 months. Some will feel it up to 18 months. And the idea is with getting these plate-rich, uh, uh, these platelet-rich uh, blood, my own blood, and then re-injecting in certain areas, this is actually something that has been around for a very long time. And they've been using it on athletes um, for the better part of a few decades now that they'll do it to their uh, their knees, their joints, um, places that need healing quickly. So this is not anything new. It's been around a very long time. It's a new application of an old treatment that they're going to go ahead and do it uh, basically to the genital area. And uh, so as I understand, they do this for both men and women. Um, obviously, I'm going through the treatment first. Angelique may or may not be going through it later on to see the results. But um, I know when I'm in the office over there, there's actually more women than men. And it, again, it is a place that works, um, it's basically focused on balancing hormones and sexual wellness. Because uh, on my first visit, we did have about a half hour conversation with the doctor going all over everything from my family history, um, my satisfaction in my life, as far as both, actually address men mental, uh, am I happy? Am I happy doing what am I doing? And it brought out, uh, I won't say it brought out a lot of stuff. It wasn't quite a therapy session, but it was nice going through um, the fact that I do work out quite a bit. I do lift weights. And again, I'm not seeing the results I did even 10 years ago. I'm 45 now. And uh, he took my testosterone levels and agreed to go ahead and put me on a testosterone treatment. The treatment I'm on right now uh, has to do with pellets. They are about the size of an aspirin. And you go in once every four to six months. They take about a 20 minutes. They do a little incision on your uh, backside um, and then go ahead and put them under the skin, but above the muscle. So that little layer of fat that we all have that lines between them. Now, as you go ahead, the difference between the pellets uh, to many other things is the pellets will go ahead and distribute testosterone as needed. So it's not like a shot where you take a shot and it peaks up because it's in your blood system and then a day later it peaks back down and you're kind of going through withdrawals and there's a lot of uh, also I heard synthetic testosterone out there. What we're using over here is actually more of a natural uh, matching testosterone and um, 
the pellets dissolve as needed with the blood flow. So essentially, um, I get the testosterone I need when I need it, whether that's in the morning or the afternoon or the night. I don't have to worry about taking multiple shots a day. I don't have to worry about that. Um, but one thing I am really liking about the treatment is they are addressing uh, sexual health as a wellness issue for the whole body. So they're talking about my athletic performance, uh, my sexual performance. They're talking about uh, my weight gain, weight or loss. Um, they're even talking to my wife uh, as she came in, into the meeting and, and said, what's your opinion on it? Should it be better? Are things going downhill? Um, they, they really try to address it as a whole and then they try to take more of a uh, holistic approach because they are giving me a set of vitamins. They've diagnosed me as uh, vitamin D, which I don't drink milk, but I live in Florida. So I'm probably getting more sun than most people. But um, they actually came up with a specific uh, custom made vitamin packet that um, I've ordered and will be receiving any day now and we'll be taking those on a daily basis. It's really cool because you just take everything inside the packet and then throw the, the package away and that's all you have to do for the day. Um, so, uh, anyone have any questions on what I've been doing with this? Because right now this is all rather, uh, rather exciting going through the different uh, treatments as well as there's more treatments coming up with the, the P-Shot. Um, that's P-Shot, not P. Anyway. Um, but I just really wanted to go ahead and do a little Q&A today to see, because I've been documenting most of this. I keep everything in a little book and um, I'm documenting when I work out, how long I work out, what I eat. I'm documenting my sexual experiences uh, as well as documenting my lover's opinion to try to get, uh, uh, well, try to get an even uh, input on if things are changing or is it just placebo in my mind. Um, so far we agree things are changing. Um, I'm on day 30. We pretty much noticed the change uh, five days after I did the, uh, the pellet treatment and the pellets were inserted. And so far, it's, let's see, we're on day 30. Um, the pellets area where they did the incision is all healed up. Um, there's a little red marks, markings. It just looks like I may have fell on my butt but um, otherwise there, there's nothing, there's no discomfort, and there wasn't even any pain when doing any of the treatments, whether that was the, um, the pellet injections or even doing the, uh, what's the other one we did? Um, the pulse wave treatment. So anyway, otherwise, while we're doing these treatments, um, we've actually been quite busy. We just came back from New Orleans and went to Naughty in New Orleans, so shout out for you guys. And that was a lot of fun. Um, you know, 2,600 swingers in a three hotel buyout with plenty of playrooms and dungeons. Hey, who could have played about that? Uh, coming up next week, we're actually going to Fire in Orlando. And for those of you who don't know, Fire is the Florida Intensive Rope Experience. If you've ever uh, looked up or did a little research on uh, roping, whether it's artistic or suspension, go ahead and Google Shibari. And um, essentially it's a Japanese rope bondage. It can be very complicated or very artistic, but um, in Orlando they have the largest North American rope convention where we're gonna have about, I believe it's coming up on about 650 people. And we're going to be sponsoring a golf cart. So um, I have a theory, as most people are uh, in the kinky community are geeks. And we are. We're engineers. We're software developers. Got some doctors and nurses in there. But um, what we are is also Star Trek fans. So what they've decided to do is every year they name the rooms where these occur. And, you know, Concourse A and Concourse B or Room This or the Kennedy Room, it gets a little boring. So the rooms are actually named after uh, Star Trek terms. Um, and I believe there's a Kardashian room, there's a Klingon room. So being that the hotel has an overflow hotel, we're gonna be doing um, golf carts back and forth. And Living Sex Positive Life is going to be sponsoring a golf cart. So we get to go ahead and try to dress or make a golf cart into a starship, uh, put some nacelles on it and make it look um, Star Trek-y and then go ahead and uh, 
we'll have volunteers shuffling people back and forth from hotel to hotel. So we'll have a bunch of people in kinky wear, probably with lots of rope floggers and paddles, um, aboard a golf cart that looks like a Starfleet vessel. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun this weekend. So if you haven't bought tickets, if you're in the Orlando area, if you're just in Florida and want to come on by, uh, it is running next week from Thursday to Sunday. We will be there the, uh, the whole time. Um, and then let's see, we have more events coming up. We're actually going to be doing um, Florida Power Exchange, which if you do enjoy that, uh, again, that's being held in Tampa. If you like Florida Power Exchange, we're going to be releasing tomorrow an episode where we are talking about um, the behind the scenes. We actually got the crew of Florida Power Exchange together. So stay tuned tomorrow. That's going to launch on our audio podcast. So download that from iTunes, Google, Spreaker, Spotify, and any of those places. Um, But otherwise, uh, we have been busy doing the treatments. The treatments are again going very well. And by the way, if anyone has any questions uh, about the treatments I'm going through and want to do a little bit more research, you can go to it's hormonesandwellness.com or you can Google the Florida Center for Hormonal Wellness and take a look through there at the different um, treatments available, resources available, suggestions. I do suggest uh, if you are having any type of low testosterone problem, um, erectile dysfunctional problem, or you're just getting up in years and want to go ahead and see what's available to go ahead and take you back to when you were 30. I won't say 20, but we'll turn the, they can turn the clock back a little bit, but uh, I'll say none of these treatments are permanent because we're all continually aging. Um, whatever you get done now will definitely help. It'll turn the clock back. Will it be, if you drop it immediately, will it still be there in 10 years? No, probably not. But the treatment um, that we're doing, I'm going through a year. Uh, Depending on how it goes, I probably will continue with that. But if I did stop, uh, the results will continue for a while. But slowly again, age always catches up with all of us. I mention a lot age in here, but I do want to go ahead and throw something else out there. That um, age, although it can be an issue and certain things happen to us as we get older, um, it can happen to younger people as well. I know the center has um, patients in their 20s that may have disabilities, may be uh, having certain conditions that will lead to this, lead to either low testosterone or erectile dysfunction, or just a general sexual um, unhappiness. The truth is, if you've lost your interest in sex, that's also a sign of low testosterone, even if you can still perform. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm not the doctor, I'm the patient just explaining all of the stuff that, I, that I'm going through. But I do suggest again, going to the website, doing some video, they have a whole bunch of um, videos up there as well of other uh, patients giving their opinion about what, what, how the treatment went and such. Um, I'm also gonna say not just age, but men or women. There was more women in the office uh, than men and you know, Women and men's, men's bodies are different. Women do go through a, uh, a menopause, not that men don't, we don't change, but you know, once we start getting older, there are changes. And um, let's be honest, sex, sex is a part of life. Sex is a part of being human. Sex is a part of happiness. And if sex isn't your thing, that's also great. There's nothing wrong with you. But if you feel something missing, if you feel like you need sex in your life uh, and there's an issue there, go see a doctor. And one of the things that I've been surprised to hear is how little training doctors have on sex. I mean, in medical school, which is probably one of the most intense learning and school processes in the world, um, they get about four hours worth of training and then they get training outside of there if they opt for it. But most doctors, most general practitioners, uh, of course, know how sex works, know when you're pregnant, But as far as performance, as far as desire, as far as the things that um, could be or should be important to us, um, they're not really schooled on that nearly as much. And uh, Dr. Carazella has done a lot of extra training uh, specifically on sexual wellness. So why go to a general practitioner when you could see a specialist? 
One of the things he's running right now on me is a uh, advanced metabolic test, which I'm looking forward to getting the results because they're gonna test even my insulin levels to see um, how am I doing? How's my digestive doing? How's my digestive tract doing? Because you know, in the initial test, apparently I may have something called a stomach leakage, um, which may be due to my diet. It may be due to genetics. We're not sure, but these additional tests should give us a lot more info. So uh, I would like to go ahead and say thank you for joining me today. I do appreciate it. If you do have any questions on uh, my treatments, the Florida Center for Hormones and Wellness, um, or if you just have any questions on uh, sexual wellness, go ahead and drop me a line. My name is John, my email is john at livingasexpositivelife.com or go ahead and just go to the website and you can leave uh, your comments there as well. So thank you very much, signing off.